In this video, I'm going to show you how you can move your OneNote folders to a personal OneNote so that if you're leaving school, you've got those notes with you. So, for example, you might be leaving year nine and going on to another school um, to do GCSE somewhere else. And there's a lot of content which is applicable in year nine to GCSEs. Or perhaps you're in year 13 and you're going off to university to study a subject which is related and you want those notes to refer to. So what you need to do is, first of all, set up a Microsoft account that is a personal account. You may already have one of these, in which case, fantastic. Otherwise, if you simply Google Microsoft account and then create an account, that's the, the first step. Once you've done that, go into OneNote and click onto your name. If you do this in the app, it will be definitely the easiest. And if you use the Windows uh, 10 version of the app, that's, that's the easiest way to do it. And what you'll need to do is click on the Add Account. So you can see my school account is already here. And I've already added an account here. But all you'll, that will happen is if you click Add Account, you can choose whether it's a standard Microsoft account or work one, so it'll be a Microsoft one. And you can go through and log in. So once you've done that, you will now have two um, Microsoft accounts which you're signed into. And the next thing to do is create a new notebook for your personal account. So you can do that by clicking on the plus notebook, choosing your personal account, typing in a name for that notebook, so maybe something like RHS School Notes, click on Create Notebook, and then that will start to happen. I've already set one up, so I don't need to do that. And you can see at the bottom here, I've got one called RHS School Notes. Now, once you've done that, you need to set up a particular type of section group in that OneNote. Don't just simply click on section. What you need to do is right click on there, or if it's an Apple device, the equivalent with the, is it control click or command uh, click? And then choose the new section group. And what you can then do is rename that. So if I'm in year nine, I might want one for each of my subjects. And I'm just going to move that so, oops, I don't want it in biology in, within physics. I want it separate. So I'm just going to try and move that so it's hopefully going to appear separately. It's not helpful. There we go. So you want a section group for each of the subject areas that you want to put notes into. So the moment I've got art, biology and physics, um, but go through and create all of the various section groups that you want. Once you've done that and got your organization sorted, then what you need to do is go to the one notes where you want to take the notes from. So for example, if I take this one note here, you can see that we've got the content library, the collaboration space, and each of the individual students. Obviously, you'll only be able to see one particular student. And what you can do is right click on each of the sections within a content library or folder. And when you right click on there, you've got the option to move or copy. When you click on move or copy, it comes up with this option box. And you then just need to find that personal OneNote that you've created. So RHS School Notes in this case. Click on the folder where you want to put those and then copy those notes in. So I click on copy and that will start to happen. If you look at the bottom here, we can see that there's a sync icon, the kind of uh, recycling type uh, icon on top of the folder. If I click on there, 
I can then see that within physics, I've got this extra folder now. And that's it. You just need to go through and move any folders across that you want to, whether it's from the content library or from your own personal work. And that will build up your portfolio of all of the work from those OneNotes. And that's it.